This country, Nigeria, is such a terrible place to be. A terrible place to live. A terrible place to build something, a career, whatever. If you're in Nigeria, you are already automatically 50% sad. Creatives are naturally expected to put out interesting, eye-catching, engaging content. And if your content are not all of those, there's a probability that people are not going to see it. And I really don't blame people. I mean, people come to the internet to watch something interesting, see something different. People are looking for an escape. People are looking for something to make them forget reality for a little bit. And if your video is not, or your content is not doing all of that for them, they are not going to see it. And especially for people that do vlogs, that's why I don't do vlogs because in reality and half of the time our lives are pretty much normal and boring sometimes sad because it's not even about the content it's about the fact that sometimes you are not fine what then do you do my channel is an extension of myself and my life has pretty much just been not so great and i think a lot of people might relate to this like we are all just tired and exhausted and everybody is just winging it nothing interesting is happening nothing exciting is happening we are stagnant life the routine is pretty much the same and of course life is not always a hundred there are terrible seasons there are dry seasons but some of us have it more terrible what have i been up to nothing really nothing actually i'm always in bed i'm really always in bed i eat i watch movies is it just me or the movies that they are making right now are not as interesting as old movies because i've not been finding new movies that interesting anyways i watch movies the internet has also been pretty much boring but i'm usually on tiktok once in a while you will just laugh away your sorrow on tiktok I listen to podcasts when I'm doing some chores. My go-to are uh, I Said What I Said and CVT. I Said What I Said because there is just a lot of banter, a lot of laughter, a lot of silliness on that podcast. But silliness that you can take away things from. My clinical tutor's bald head is calling my name. <laughs> Every time I see his shiny head, I'm tempted to kiss it. <laughs> but I have to finish medical school so I can't act crazy. Or can I? How do I get over this urge? This is what can I? can I? Me, oh, I'd say take the risk. <laughs> Nancy. Nancy. And see with the podcast because it's just very interesting to hear about people's journeys. It's interesting to see how far people have come. Go for it. Like, do everything that you can possibly do because, bruh, yeah, you will fail. So why, sh why should you now be afraid of it? That podcast has also taught me that perception is a thing. I mean, your perception about somebody is 75, almost wrong. Like, you never really know people. Like, you might think that this is it about somebody, and it's not actually that. Also, that people are the way they are because they've, of the things that they've gone through. And if people should begin to tell you the things that they've gone through, you begin to understand people better. Oh, this is how this person is. This is how... This is why this person is like this. When I got into Unilag was my, you know, first sexual assault experience. I can't remember his face, but like, I can remember one statement he made. He was like, um, you know, don't let me rape you. That's what he said. And at the time, like after that experience happened, like I just remember like moving through it and not telling anybody and pretending like it never happened. But um, it affected my school life so much. I always blamed it on not knowing what I wanted to do, you know, like when actually I've always been fully aware of what I wanted to do, you know, growing up. So I knew what I wanted to do, but I just didn't do that thing because I had experienced something so traumatic yeah. and I didn't speak to anybody about it, especially not my granny because I had so much shame. Mm. You know, I didn't want to be blamed like, oh yes, if you didn't dress that way, like yes. maybe they wouldn't have done that because yes. like knowing people that are like rapists and assaulters, it's not about your dressing, it's about like, a power play and yeah. you're the victim. I eat.
going to church the fellowship at my church at home is just somehow it's not like before and i really don't relate i don't connect like i don't see the point and i'm very annoyed because i miss church so much and i've been looking for another church to go to but i've not found anyways this sunday i decided that i was going to go to church because i miss church so today i am going to church the lord bless you and keep you make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord turn his face toward you and give you peace i also watched big brother reunion at night i didn't watch their set but the reunion is just a great distraction from reality right now like it gives me something to expect to look out for life is not just great at the moment like i, I like i don't everything just tire me you can almost say that i'm depressed can we talk about how expensive it is getting to live can we talk about just existing, how expensive it is getting to just exist? Especially for most of us that are transitioning into becoming adults. Like you are literally on your own and ha, ah, my guy, it's tough. It is tough. Let's not even start with how hard it is to make money or build something. You want to be a fashion designer, you want to be an entrepreneur, you want to start a podcast, start a YouTube channel, you want to make fashion content, you want to be a food vlogger. You need money, you need money. You need. It's so annoying that you need money to make money. Learn a skill, learn a skill. The place I want to go and learn wigging, or the place I want to go and learn fashion designing, am I not going to pay money? to learn am i not going to pay money to get the equipment that, that we need machine and all of that <sighs> hey you even have a skill to render i can be a virtual assistant i'm um, a video editor you send your cv to people you send your work to people you see opportunities you apply and some of them even start going well oh this person is going to this conversation is going well this person looks interested and then they just ghost happening to me they just ghost me they don't say anything again you don't get the job back to square one because you can learn a lot on the internet let's learn something on the internet i wanted to pick up a class on skillshare about graphic design i even started and it got to the point where we moved to the app that we'll be using to edit i downloaded two apps on my laptop the first one installed my laptop said don't fucking kill me the second one is not going to install because there's no space on me because my laptop is tiny it's a small laptop so i have to get a new laptop money i talk to a lot of friends and everybody is just tired like people have goals people have a lot of things that they want to do people have ideas brilliant ideas many goals that they've put on hold because there is no money to run it and it's quite sad In the midst of all this robot my YouTube channel was out. Wednesday, 1st of June, around 2 a.m., I went to my YouTube and I found out that somebody had already posted five videos. Like, who? How? How did they have access to my email? How did they have access to my YouTube? I took a screenshot, I deleted those videos. Then I went to my mail and I found out that they already sent me a mail. Gmail already sent me a message saying that there's a security breach, blah, blah, blah. I tried to do the two-factor authentication. I was not able to. I left it. The next day, 2nd of June, I received another message saying that um, somebody's trying to, there's another security breach. Somebody's trying to get to my account. This time, I actually did another security backup. So I did that and I thought everything was fine. Saturday went by, great. Sunday went by, everything was cool. Then Monday, 6th of june i went to youtube studio and the app was not opening it was saying something is wrong refresh i thought it was network i refreshed nothing was happening then i went to youtube and i pressed in to fed this way and nothing came up no nothing came up and at this point youtube already sent me a mail 
that my channel was suspended because it violated community rules you can't say some things you can't post some things it's against the rules so i think what those people did was they were posting videos that they were not meant to post and then youtube took offense and took my video down so as at monday 6th of june if you went to youtube and you pressed in tifede soye my channel will be nowhere to be found you would not have seen me if you pressed a previous link to any of my videos you would not it will tell you that the channel has been suspended your power but having it so strange i didn't even panic i didn't actually panic because i was already used to life being somewhere at that point like i was already used to everything going south so i was like okay it's same old same old bad thing but i watched a lot of videos that night apparently it's a thing i was surprised to that youtube can be hacked i watched a lot of videos on what to do if your youtube has been hacked i did that and i just went to sleep then the most morning i woke up and then i went to twitter and i tweeted at youtube team telling them that my youtube has been hacked and suspended and i need their help to get my channel back in like an hour they replied me back telling me that i should follow them and we'll continue in the dm in the dm they sent me some forms told me to fill it so a lot of questions when did it happen how did, did they post videos did i notice any changes i filled it and i submitted and the evening of tuesday 7th of june i got my channel back yeah like, I was so happy, like, we're back, baby! We're back! <laughs> because I really don't know if I would have fought for my channel. Of course, I'm meant to fight, but as I said, life has just been going anyhow, and I did not really have strength in me. Like, for something like that to happen, like, I did not have strength in me to go through that. But, I'm, I, like, I have to commend you to, under 24 hours, I got my channel back. That's impressive. I was quite grateful like i'm so grateful to god i'm grateful to youtube that i got my channel back got my channel back and everything was great but my comments were nowhere to be found and i really prioritize my comments like that's the only way i get to interact with my subscribers i like the fact that i reply to people's comments also i think that comments just make a video do well they also speak well of the video imagine a video having a thousand views and five comments like did nobody relate to the video did nobody enjoy the video so the fact that i had comments and interaction with my subscribers in my comments i really prioritized my comments and the fact that that was gone was sad so i messaged youtube telling them that i really appreciate them getting my channel back for me but i would also appreciate if they could help me get my comments back they replied me telling me that they are sorry, they can't, they have already deleted the comments and if the comment is deleted, it cannot be restored. I was like, fine, no problem. 24 hours, you two, you people. <laughs> the next day, I checked my channel and my comments were there. Your comments, not mine. My comments were not there. You just see that I like the comments and my response to the comments were not there. But you guys, your comments are there. And I was like, that's impressive. I was grateful. It is a miracle that I could even get this video done. I feel a little better today because something good happened to me yesterday. I I just even made my hair. I've just been. So it is a miracle that I got this video done. If you're in a similar situation where life is just fucking you up, I'm messing up. I'm sending you all the love and light. Hopefully things get better soon. Just stop your